okay guys in this tutorial we will learn how to get the value of SNR that is the signal to noise ratio within the MATLAB so for it first of all in order to get the SNR value we need a sample signal so we will declare a variable that is called as length is equal to minus 2 multiply with pi comma 2 multiply with pi and close them in wrong brackets and write Lin space command here. So what this line actually will do, Lin space is actually a command that will equally space all sort of elements within a range. Like our lowest value here is minus two cross pi, and our highest value is two cross pi. Mean that it runs from minus six point two eight to plus 6.28 because 2 multiplied by pi is 6.28 but what the lin space will do lin space will actually give us around 100 values which are equally spaced so it it, it, it will give us a complete a range of values and all the values are then will be stored inside our length variable because we have put here the assignment operator this is not an equality operator there but now it is working as assignment operator all the length all the range will be given to the length now we will we will make signal underscore one is equal to sign of length sign of length and what actually sine of length will do it will apply sine function on all the points there must be hundred or hundreds of points and sine of length will actually take sine sine of value of in all the values within a range and then all the values that is hundred or more values are stored inside the signal underscore one and signal underscore one is now a sine wave then we can plot this signal s i g n a l underscore one then we will run it and we will save as a save it as s n r underscore one so we can see that we got this sine signal then we will create noise and we know that uh, noise is actually a combination of a distorted distortion that is actually uh, created by a lot of sources just like if we are speaking all sort of noises coming from everywhere is actually considered as a noise signal because it used to attenuate or distort our original sig signal so for it because uh, noise is always random so we will use 0.5 multiply by range and size of what is called as length or signal underscore one or you can say that length or anything but signal underscore one now what this line will do size of signal underscore one will give us the size of the signal the sine wave the size of sine wave that how much values it has then rand function will actually create 
random points for all the points that is for every point inside the sinusoidal wave then point 5 is is multiply multiplying of point 5 actually indicates that we are going to lower the magnitude of the noise why it is so because there are two important parameters for the noise one is the noise is of always of low magnitude very low magnitude as compared to the original signal and second one is rent rent that it is random with any sort of humming or noises or any sort of signal that that, that we do not want is actually uh, a noise so we will plot this noise noise underscore one and it will give us and you can see that we got this noise signal then what next is that we will find the SNR value in between the original signal that is signal underscore one and noise underscore one so write SNR under SNR what actually SNR is actually SNR is a built-in function offered by MATLAB so SNR is actually will give us the signal to noise ratio between original signal and noise so you are supposed to write signal underscore one comma noise underscore one so just do one thing right press okay so so we as we also uh, use s underscore one uh, to name the file so you can use anything like s underscore 22 or anything you want it is just a variable so our snr is 8.1726 signal to noise ratio so more is the signal to noise ratio we can say that more better the signal is and less will be the noise ratio snr value then we can say that uh, signal is corrupted or distorted more by noise so hopefully you got the concept behind uh, this simple idea uh, for code the link is given in the description so thanks for watching